Yo, what is up, guys? My name is Nicholas Earl, and welcome back to another episode of Earl Sports Bets. And today we've got a eight-game NHL slate to go over for today. But before we get into the video, before we get into the recap, you guys know what to do. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, you can also follow us on our social medias. We have uh, Twitter. You can follow us at Bets Earl, and you can follow us on Instagram at Earl Sports Bets. And one last thing I want to ask for you guys is let me know in the comment section below who your favorite NHL play is for today. All right, let's get into a recap of yesterday and after the day before. Much better last night. I know it was only two games, so it was a smaller sample size. But we did go 2-0. and Nice little bounce back after an 0-6 day. Uh, we had the Tampa Bay team total over 3.5 goals. And that hit midway through the second period. They went on to a 5-1 victory over the Red Wings. And the Boston Bruins, David Pasternak with that hat trick, uh, sending that game to overtime. And then Bergeron scoring the game-winning goal in overtime uh, to give them that 4-3 win over the Flyers, cashing that bet as well. We are now 50-56, and 56, so we're slightly better now, 47 0.1%, but let's not waste any more time. We have an eight-game slate to go over for today, so let's get right into it. All right, we're starting with Nashville heading to Florida to take on the Panthers. It's going to be Yusef Soros versus Sergei Bobrovsky, we believe. Uh, you can get Nashville for minus 101. Florida minus 109 over under five and a half goals. And this is a game where, honestly, it puzzles me why Florida is only a minus 109. They have a much better offense. They have a much better defense. And they have a much better power, uh, power play team. I think Nashville is taking a huge step back this year. They're not going to be a good team. And I feel like they're going to be a team you're going to make a lot of money fading this year. So we're going to go with Florida here at minus 109. Uh, I just think they're the overall better team. They're averaging three and a half goals a game. They're only allowing two and a half goals a game. Their power play is 36% right now, fourth in the NHL. And looking at Nashville's rankings, 28th in goals scored per game, 25th in goals allowed per game, 28th in power play percentage. This Nashville team is not a good team, and they should not be a damn near pick em versus the Florida Panthers. So we're taking uh, Florida here, minus 109 versus the Nashville Predators. On to our next game of the uh, of the slate. We're looking at the Vancouver Canucks taking on the uh, Toronto Maple Leafs. Minus 165 for the Leafs. Plus 149 for the Canucks. And uh, looking at this game, uh, we have Thatcher Demko taking on Frederick Anderson. And this is a... This is a Toronto team where I feel like they're just a much, much better team than Vancouver right now. Vancouver is one of those teams where they need to pick it up. I don't think that they're going to be a solid team if they continue playing the way they're playing. I think their only wins were against, like, Ottawa, Edmonton, and Winnipeg. So this Vancouver team is not a team I'm really wanting to back right now. Minus 165 is a pretty hefty price tag. So what we're doing here is I'm gonna I'm gonna start doing these type of picks where we're gonna go a, we're gonna create a minus one line is what we're gonna call it where we're gonna take the money line and we're gonna take the puck line and lay half a unit on each. This will balance out the minus 165 and the plus 135 for the puck line. This is gonna be a minus one line at a minus 112 price. Uh, it'd be, you have to bet 11, 12, uh, 11, 20 to win 10 bucks, basically, uh, lay half a unit on each of these pet, uh, bets. And, uh, you can get the Toronto Maple Leafs at minus one for minus 112. Uh, I feel like this is a game where they can definitely run away at this game. Uh, Vancouver's defense has not been good. They're 28th in the league for goals allowed per game. And if this Toronto team can cause some penalties, they have the best power play in the NHL, so uh, I really like Toronto in this game, uh, taking them on the minus one and uh, them just taking care of business tonight against the Vancouver Canucks. Next, we have the Montreal Canadiens hosting the Ottawa Senators, and wow, this line has blown up. 
Ottawa Senators are a plus 256 against a minus 290 Montreal Canadiens. Um, this is just a bad, bad Ottawa team this year. And as you can tell, look, over four and a half goals is the um, total for Montreal at plus 130. I don't hate that. Um, this Montreal team has scored 4.4 goals a game. Top in the NHL, and this Ottawa team has given up 4.8 goals a game, which is worse in the NHL. This is the best offense versus the worst defense. This is a very bad matchup for Ottawa, and I really like the Canadians in this one, but I don't want to lay the minus 290. This is just not a bet I'm willing to make. Um, overall, this game is going to be a pass for me because I don't want to lay the minus 290. On a puck line, I don't want to lay my almost minus 120 juice. Uh, four and a half is just a ridiculous number. Overall, this game is just priced way too out of reach. If you want to bet the Canadians, uh, it's just too much. So I'm passing on this game. Uh, there's plenty of other games we can bet on tonight. Like this next one. We have the Washington Capitals taking on the New York Rangers. It is a minus 101 for the Capitals. Minus 109 for the Rangers. Um, we're going to have Vinicek versus Shesterkin. And this one is another one where it puzzles me where the line is. And showing there's been money on New York. Uh, the Rangers are not a team I really want to bet right now. Uh, they just haven't been able to get it going so far this year. They play in a lot of close games, but they can't just finish it. They can't hold leads. Um, their defense is not great. They got rid of Tony D'Angelo, which was a cancer in the locker room. So maybe that can help them. But this team is just really underwhelming this year. Compared to what they were hoping this New York Rangers team was going to be with Shesh, uh, with uh, Panarin and with Zibanejad and with Buchnevich and Kreider and Lafreniere, um, this New York team does have talent. They do have potential, but I don't like them as a pick 'em favorite versus the Capitals. The Capitals are a much better team than this is. The Capitals have the third best offense in the league for goals per game, averaging 3.7 goals a game. Um, the only ones higher, I believe, are Montreal and Dallas. So, I mean, this this Capitals offense is really good. Ovechkin is back. And he's doing playing really well. TJ Oshie looks good. I mean, this, this Washington team could be a Stanley Cup competitor. But uh, we are going with Washington in this game. Minus 101. I just think that this is a really, really good price for this game. And I probably would have had Washington minus 130, minus 135 if I made this line. Nowhere near minus 101. Uh, give me Washington minus 101, which I think is an absolute joke of a price. And <coughs> I love it. Next, we have the Dallas Stars heading to the Columbus Blue Jackets. Minus 121 for the Stars, plus 110 for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Over under five and a half goals. And this is another game where I'm actually going to be looking at the underdog here. I think this is a nice bounce back spot for Columbus. They got absolutely beat pretty bad uh, in that first game against Dallas a couple days ago. It's going to be uh, Hadobin versus Elvis Merkulins. Um... This Dallas team is a very talented team. Don't get me wrong. They have the second best offense, fifth best defense, third best power play. This is going to be another playoff team, most likely, and a, another cup contending team. But for this game, I think this is another game that uh, Patrick Line is going to be in the lineup now with the Columbus Blue Jackets. And I think he's probably going to put a goal in tonight. And I can see this as a close 3-2, to 2-1 two, two to one Blue Jackets win tonight. Give me the uh, Columbus at plus 110. Uh, I like them tonight. Next, we have the Calgary Flames and the Winnipeg Jets. Uh, Jacob Markstrom versus Connor Hellebuck. Minus 117 for the Flames, plus 106 for the Jets. And this is another game where these two teams are relatively close on paper. But I think that the Calgary Flames are clearly the better team here. Um... Winnipeg, they're just a terrible defensive team. They can they can shoot the puck really well. They're fifth in the league in goals scored per game. But this is not a team that plays good defense. And that's something I really want to see out of them. Uh, to be able to show a little bit of support for Connor Hellebuck so he doesn't have to stand on his head every single game uh, for this Winnipeg Jets team. 
Uh, and this Calgary team, I believe, is a very under underrated team. I think they're one of the most underrated teams. They're definitely a playoff team in that Northern Division. Um, and I feel like they're just a team that gets slept on a little bit. Um, their numbers are not terrible. Uh, I mean, their offense, they're a little low on goals per game, but they have a top 10 defense in the NHL here. Uh, we're going with the Flames again here. I think they're my best bet of the day. Um, I just think the Flames are a much, much better team than the Winnipeg Jets are. And I think they can take care of business here in Winnipeg and uh, knock off this win- uh, knock off this Jets team. So, give me the Flames, minus 117 versus the Winnipeg Jets. All right, two more games to go on the slate. Next, we have the Carolina Hurricanes taking on the uh, Chicago Blackhawks. Minus 179 for the Hurricanes, plus 161 for the Blackhawks. James Reimer versus Lincoln. Um, it may be Supon tonight. I'm not 100% sure, though. That, that is not confirmed. Um, but it's another one where I'm looking to take the minus one line. Um, this Hurricanes team has been playing really well lately. They're my pick for the Stanley Cup, to be completely honest. Uh, their defense is absolutely amazing, top in the NHL. Only allowing 1.86 goals per game. James Reimer's been playing really well lately. One thing I want to see is whether or not they're going to get Morazic back. But I definitely do like this Carolina team uh, on a minus one line. You can get that for around minus 113 at these prices. Uh, I just feel like this Carolina team... Is going to be a team that's going to compete. They're going to be a bet on team for me this year, and especially against a really, really bad Blackhawks team this year. Which, um, now looking at it, maybe the sixth best team in that league. Um, only looking down on the Red Wings and the Predators, um, but Carolina is the pick for this game. We're going with the Hurricanes uh, on the minus one line around minus one thirteen. Take care of business. I think they're going to win. A game like a 3-1, to 4-1 to one type of game here against the Blackhawks tonight. So, uh, Hurricanes are the pick against the Blackhawks tonight. Minus one line. And our final game of the evening, we have the Arizona Coyotes and the St. Louis Blues. Uh, you can get the Blues for minus 163. Plus 147 for the Coyotes. It looks like we're going to have Antti Ranta versus Jordan Bennington. And overall, this game, this game is going to be one I pass on. Uh, I just don't see much value in this. And usually, the Blues games are va- are priced really well, uh, according to where they should be. Uh, not too much value on the Blues tonight. Uh, and I don't feel like betting Arizona. I just don't think they're that great of a team this year. Um, this game is a complete pass for me. Uh, I would also be looking at the under, but the under is heavily, heavily juiced. So, uh, we're just going to completely pass on the Arizona Coyotes and the St. Louis Blues tonight. All right, let's quickly go over our plays for this evening's uh, slate. We have the Florida Panthers at minus 109. We have the Toronto Maple Leafs at the minus 1 line at a minus 112. We have the Washington Capitals at minus 101. We have Columbus Blue Jackets plus 110. Calgary Flames minus 117. And the Hurricanes on the minus 1 line at around a minus 113 uh, betting line. If this information was helpful to you guys at all, feel free to hit the thumbs up on this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We come out with daily content on this channel from a wide range of sports. We have the NFL, college basketball, college football, UFC, esports, NBA, WNBA, NHL, MLB, and NASCAR. So we have tons and tons of content on this channel. So be sure you're subscribed and have those post notifications on so you guys are notified each and every time we come out with a video here on Real Sports Bets. But that's going to do it for this video. I want to thank you guys for watching. And I, let's catch some bets in the NHL tonight, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.